फ्रेंड्स यूक्रेन रिमेन्स द फ्लैश पॉइंट नॉट ओनली फॉर यूरोप बट द एंटायर वर्ल्ड एंड वट आर द पॉसिबिलिटीज हु वॉन्ट्स द वॉर टू टेक प्लेस और हु वॉन्ट्स वॉर नॉट टू टेक प्लेस वट द पीपल मस्ट डू द वेरियस क्वेश्चन वर्ल्ड ओवर एंड नॉट हंड्रेड ऑफ थाउजेंड बट मिलियंस ऑफ पोस्ट्स वीडियोज ओपिनियंस आर फ्लोटिंग पीपुल आर कंफ्यूज and in fact many of them have stopped watching therefore i am planning to talk in two episode on ukraine firstly what are the possibilities first that russia itself attacks ukraine unprovoked in a way and why should russia attack will come on that second possibility is that ukraine under the guidance instruction from us and allies nato attacks dpr and lpr that it donates republic and luthans republic people's republic the two so called separatist states from ukraine in 2014 after us led yellow revolution took place and the pro russian government in ukraine was removed replaced by morbidly pro american government though then prime minister lost the election or president lost the election the present one after having won massively is towing the same <clears throat> political economic line anyway so in that case when ukraine attacks these two nations or break away nations russia by force has to come in their protection because russia treats them as part of their own territory in a way and then the war all out war breaks out and third possibility that nothing happens all the war mongering war mania fizzles out but still in that case what all has happened so far what all will happen further we need to talk and finally the outcome of the entire episode whatever happens doesn't happen we'll talk about that so now in this episode i'll be only talking about the first possibility and in second we will talk about the other two possibility and some of the thing unless by tomorrow there is some changes in geopolitical situation in this reason we will have third episode otherwise no so now the first one that is russia attacks by then as far as us is concerned it, it would not have made much difference if trump was in the par maybe minor differences here and there but overall policy of us imperialism since last one decade or even more had been to go east in the europe european countries try and decimate russian the rising russian empire again Bre the breakaway groups like even kazakhstan they tried ukraine is there poland is there so that russia gives way more and more concessions to us imperialism us capital to penetrate finance capital whichever form and other things and of course in case the war starts to get back european union listen to this carefully 
यूरोपियन यूनियन एज एन इंडिपेंडेंट एंटिटी डिस्पाइट ब्रेक्सिट दैट इज डिस्पाइट यूके हैड गॉन आउट रिमेन्स एंटी यूएसए टू सम एक्सटेंट एटलीस्ट इकोनॉमिकली इट डज नॉट डिपेंड ऑन यूएस इट्स बिगेस्ट ट्रेड पार्टनर टूडे इज चाइना रिप्लेसिंग यूएसए एज नंबर वन चाइनीज ट्रेड इज एक्सपैंडिंग वर्ल्ड ओवर इवन विथ इंडिया इट रोज मोर देन सिक्सटी फाइव परसेंट इन लास्ट टू ईयर्स डिस्पाइट ऑल लद्दाख स्कर्मिशस एंड एंटी चाइना टॉक बाय द इंडियन रूलिंग पार्टी एज वेल एज द अपोजिशन पार्टी इट डजन मेक डिफरेंस वेल एंड दे फो द वर्ल्ड is heading towards multipolar where european union or europe is turning out to be a very formidable strong independent pole and this helps in degeneration of american empire which america doesn't want america is losing all around against china against russia against european union and therefore in case the war starts america will try and woo european union to its own fold a strong iron curtain against russia even germany which is vacillating between america and its own interest not towards russia is not sure what is to be done to some extent even france is like that but this heavy sanction if it starts these states will have no choice because war mongering war mongering has so deeply penetrated among the peoples that the state the governments the political parties cannot say no and that is the aim of geopolitics of us imperialism and it will succeed in case russia attacks but why should russia attack if russia attacks many of his projects in europe will come to a grinding halt for example the nord stream 2 which is natural gas pipeline from russia to germany and it is worth 11 billion us dollar and many such other projects economic one through multinational and other ways will come to a halt and by the way european union including germany will have to bank more and more on america once american plot succeeds and here it is interesting to listen what nato's first secretary general said purpose of alliance that is nato and of course that is suitable for this war as well was to keep the russian out listen to it carefully again the purpose of nato was to keep the russian out the americans in and the german down because germany is the one which is leading the european union away and away from america and american hegemony american finance capital american militarism it doesn't want to be part of that and who is with american imperialism is uk <clears throat> by the way both biden and uh, uk's prime minister johnson they have lost the popular mandate i am not talking about the election otherwise <clears throat> there is a movement going on <coughs> going on in uk to remove johnson after his mismanagement over corona virus pandemic the latest wave and in which he was caught dancing and partying breaking all the coronavirus mandate which now he feels that 
with this rising war mongering war mania he will be able to retain himself as prime minister and popular support will be back with him remember uk was one of the main partner of us when they attacked iraq in 1991 later on in afghanistan tony blair head of labor party mas was the then prime minister libya also these two guys were together anyway coming back to the first option where russia attacks unprovoked and what happens the trade between usa and european union and rest of the world will rise again brazil it's already there india it will retain back and naturally was china supports russia in this by the way when this attack occurs it is understood that china is supporting russia even in for example in kazakhstan when things were going out of hand and even the russian forces reached to crush the protesters against kazakh government i have talked earlier on this you can have a look though in hindi china supported russian acts and praised russian government for having a firm and strict action against the protesters which was pro american well now where this will take place or not and before i finish and we go for the second option in my second episode i will like to tell you what the people of european union think they think that their democracy is better than the american democracy american democracy is full of poverty crime corruption racism and war based for hegemony hegemony and imperialism while on the other hand the european union with the rising trade with the rest of the world like china is proving to be more reliable partners world over as far as us is concerned it's self absorbed extremely greedy militarist and surprisingly when a new government comes it undoes what the previous government did of a foreign policy irrespective of the government's changing if you want to see an example see the chinese american foreign policy includes coup d'etat like in africa even france does so in africa by the way strengthens anti people and dictatorship extreme right wing go- governance which is part of neoliberalism as the steam of neoliberalism is coming to an end like it happened in brazil in india tried in kazakhstan ukraine it was successful afghanistan and libya it was successful through military so friends as far as the outcome of this attack is concerned what russia gains or not what america loses or not will come in the second episode i will give the link here in the commentary box keep looking for my video thank you